Why would I give him my screwdriver? Why would I do that? This is why we called you in. 3D again. Hmm. Interesting. The broken glass? No. Where is broken from? Look at the shatter pattern. The glass in all these paintings has been broken from the inside. As you can see, all the paintings are landscapes. No figures of any kind. So? They used to be. Something's got out of the paintings. Lots of some things. Dangerous. This whole place has been searched. There's nothing here that shouldn't be, and nothing's got out. Oh, no, not now. Doctor, what is it? No, not now. I'm busy. Is it to do with the paintings? No, no, this is different. I remember this. Almost remember. Oh, of course. This is where I come in. Geronimo! Doctor! Wait! Who is this man? That's just what I was wondering. A very skinny. That is proper skinny. I've never seen it from the outside. It's like a special effect. <laughs> Oi, ha, matchstick man. You're not. Compensating? For what? Regeneration, it's a lottery. Oh. He's cool. Isn't he cool? I'm the doctor and I'm all cool. Oops, I'm wearing sand shoes. What are you doing here? I'm busy. Oh, busy. I see. Is that what we're calling it, eh? Hey. Hello, ladies. Don't start. Listen, what you get up to in the privacy of your own regeneration is your business. One of them is a Zygon. Oh, I'm not judging you. Oh, oh lovely. <laughs> Your Majesty's probably a good time to run. But what, what about, about the creature? creature? Elizabeth, whichever one of you is the real one, turn and run in the opposite direction to the other one. Of course, my, my love. love. Stay alive, my love. I am not done with you yet. Mm, 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 mm. <gasps> Thanks, lovely. I understand. Live for me, my darling. We shall be together again. Mm, mm. <sighs> well, wouldn't that be nice? One of those was a Zygon. Yeah. Big red rubbery thing covered in suckers. Yeah. Venom sacks in the tongue. Yeah, I'm getting the point. Thank you. Nice. Doctor, is that you? Ah, oh, hello, Clara. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's me. We can hear you. Where are you? Where are we? England, 1562. Who are you talking to? Myself. Can you come back through? Physical passage may not be possible in both directions. It... Ah, hang on. Fez coming! Nothing here. So where did it go? Who's he talking to? He said, himself. Put it back on! You have information regarding 
the treacherous vermin known as the Doctor. You're talking to her. What? You deceived my soldier. It wasn't difficult. It is regrettable that our flux strategy did not foresee your presence, but we shall not falter. You knew the flux was coming. So what caused it? Is it you lot? Are the Sun Tyrants behind the flux? The flux is neither of our making or our control, but our psychic command foresaw it. We timed our attack on this feeble rock in the fractions before the Lipari shield took effect. While we were all looking the other way, you must be very proud. This planet has defied us ever since the great Commander Lynx first sticked his claim on the ground of its feeble soil. We now assert that claim. Earth shall be an outpost of the Santaran Empire. No, it won't. But why here? Why Sebastopol? The Crimean skirmish seems the perfect place to start. So much conflict, so much opportunity. And also, I wanted to ride a horse. Leave this planet now, and you get to leave alive. <laughs> oh. You think your puny words will stand me down? There will be no battle. I speak on behalf of all of humanity. No, Doctor. You do not. What are you doing? This woman does not speak for the British Army. We are ready. I speak for more people than you could possibly imagine. Don't be a fool. Call me that again, Doctor, and see if you survive. This is good sport. Soldier, escort this doctress back to the encampment. Keep your weapon on her at all times. Don't do this. It's done! Raise your arms above your head, or be shot as a traitor immediately. Go! You speak for no one, Doctor. Not even your pitiful self. I accept your offer of a massacre. Your blood shall soak our uniforms. Your bodies shall soften our steps. six hours, and you'll still be alive. <sighs> Options blocked off. It's time to recalibrate.
What is it? One of the creatures that have been destroying the ships. You told me it was enemy agents. Why didn't you tell me the truth? If I had, would you believe me? There's only one thing for it. We'll have to go through the minefield. age down a little, just gradually, to freak people out. You killed the doctor. Oh, yes, I know, dear. You're not going to keep on about it. Oh, regeneration. It's a whole new colouring to work with. <laughs> you killed the doctor on the orders of the movement known as the Silence and Academy of the Question. You accept and know this to be true. Quite honestly, I don't really remember. It was all a bit of a jumble. No! No! Get off me! Sorry! Did you say she killed the doctor? The doctor? Doctor who? You said he was dying. He is. Doctor, when you're done here, your memories will be wiped and you'll be able to... Doctor? You're dying. And you stopped to change? Oh, you should always waste time when you don't have any. Time is not the boss of you. Rule 408, Amelia Pond, judgment death machine. Why am I not surprised? Sonic Kane. Are you serious? Never knowingly. Never knowingly be serious. Rule 27, you might want to write these down. Oh, it's a robot. With 423 life signs inside, a robot work by tiny people. Love it. But how did you all get in there, though? Bigger on the inside? No, basic miniaturization sustained by a compression field. Ooh, watch what you eat. It'll get you every time. Amy, if you and Rory are OK, signal me. Thanking you. How'd you do that? Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. Leg went to sleep. Just had a quick left leg power nap. I forgot I had one scheduled. Actually, bet it's hit now, and I think I heard the right one yawning. <laughs> Don't you touch her! Do not harm her in any way! Uh, uh, uh. Why would you care? She's the woman who kills you. I'm not dead. Up the lock, sir. Prepare to advance. Just a moment, Brigadier.
Come along then. Oh, no. Yes. Must you? I really think we've had enough bangs and flashes for a bit, don't you? Hold on. Turns into a miniature sonic lance, you see? And what do you propose to do with that? Cut out the lock for you. It shouldn't take long. It is impossible. Very well. We shall have to use the destructor codes. Show them we're not bluffing. It would take too long to set up the sequence. They'll be in here long before that. You said we'd have plenty of time. Oh, then we must gain time. We shall have to use your metal friend, Professor, and this time you'd better not let us down. Is the disintegrated gun ready? Yes. Right, then fit it and send him out. Come along, Professor. Start getting those destructor codes operational. Maybe they'll listen when the first few missiles are fired. Enemies of humanity are attacking us. You must take this gun and destroy them. No! No, you mustn't! Back. Everybody back. They may be going to surrender. Get your men back, Brigadier, if you don't want them killed. All right, back! Fall back! Fall back to the woods! something that will deal with it. I very much doubt it, Brigadier. I will destroy you all! We've had so many Christmas Eves, Kazran. I think it's time for Christmas Day. This has come from outside. This has come from the actual clouds.
I can even lap well. Oh, I did it. The doctor did it. Yeah, he gets all the credit. Which is actually fair enough if you think about it. <laughs> Inside here. Then what? Well, then I'd come up with another plan. In your own time, then. Hey! Sorry, sorry, sorry. What are you going to do with that? Improvise. I still don't understand where that thing came from. Is it alien? No, for once it's strictly human in origin. Human? How can it be human? Probably from dormant genes in Lazarus's DNA. The energy field in this thing must have reactivated them. That looks like they're becoming dominant. So it's a throwback? Some option that evolution rejected for you millions of years ago. But the potential is still there. Locked away in your genes. Forgotten about until Lazarus unlocked it by mistake. Looks like Pandora's box. Exactly. Nice shoes, by the way. Switch the machine on. And that's not good, is it? Well, I was hoping it was going to take him a little bit longer to work that out. Sometimes I hurry you, but... I know, I know, nearly done. Well, why are you doing it? I'm trying to set the capsule to reflect energy rather than receive it. Will that kill it? What he's trying to form is through time to size, cellular triplication, so he's spreading himself thin. Oh, we're going to lose that Just one more! Really shouldn't take that long just to reverse the polarity. That must be a bit out of practice. Oh, he seems so human again. It's kind of pitiful. Elliot's all that too. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. Jones, we still haven't finished our chat. Keep away from my daughter. 
Mum, what are you doing? All of the mothers, every time. He is dangerous. I've been told things. What are you talking about? Look around you. Nothing but death and destruction. It wasn't his fault. He saved us, all of us. And it was Tish who invited everyone to this thing in the first place. So I'd say technically, it's her fault. Billions of innocents to death. 5,000 years ago, Mars was the center of a vast empire, the jewel of this solar system. The people of Earth had only just begun to leave their caves. 5,000 years isn't such a long time. They're still just frightened children, still primitive. Who are you to judge? I am Skaldak. This planet is forfeit under Martian law. Then teach them, teach them. Grand Marshal, show them another way. Show them there is honor in mercy. Is this how you want history to remember you? Grand Marshal Skaldak, destroyer of Earth. Because that's what you'll be if you send those missiles. Not a soldier, a murderer. <laughs> Five billion lives extinguished, no chance for goodbyes. A world, a world snuffed out like a candle flame. All right, all right, Skaldak, you leave me no choice. I'm a Time Lord, Skaldak. I know a thing or two about sonic technology myself. A threat. You threaten me, Doctor. No. No, not you. All of us. I will blow this sub up before you can even reach that button, Grand Marshal. Blow us all to oblivion. You will sacrifice yourself. In a heartbeat. Mutually assured destruction. Look into my eyes, Skaldak. Look into my eyes. Tell me you're capable of doing this. Huh? Can you do that? Dare you do that? Look into my eyes, Skaldak! Come on! Face to face! Well, Doctor... Which of us shall blink first? Why did you hesitate? Back there, in the dark. You were gonna kill this man, remember? I begged you not to, and you listened. Why is your compassion then, Skaldak, and not now? The doctor's right. Billions will die. Mothers, sons, fathers, daughters. Remember that last battle, Skaldak? Your daughter. You sang the songs. Of the red snow. Someday I must get a proper survival kit together. Stay where you are, Doctor. Shoot him if he moves. Now, turn around. Drop the sonic device. Isn't my day, is it? I feel as though you've just killed an old friend. It is with some sadness that I tell you you are about to join it. Why not smile and let me live? If I did that, you would be more of a menace than all the primitives on this planet. You overestimate me. And then there would be the argument over the TARDIS. Ah, uh, you would have made a useful ally. But I'm afraid I think you are better dead. I said I would demonstrate how I am to rid this planet of all its primitives. It's very simple.
The poor old black rat and his flea. The infection it now carries has been genetically re-engineered. Although heavily infected, it will outlive you all. But you'd need thousands of them. I have thousands of them. They are awaiting release in a nearby city. Their infection will kill every living thing. I thought the local plague was already doing that. Ah, but our rats will ensure that there are no survivors. A final visitation. Then who will serve you? Now we have your TARDIS, we can travel the universe and acquire androids. This carnage isn't necessary. It's survival, Doctor. Just as these primitives kill lesser species to protect themselves, so I kill them. That's hardly an argument. It's not supposed to be an argument. It's a statement. If you try to escape or interfere with this cage, your friend's controlled minds have but one thought. To kill you. never listen to a word I say, but please put the cover back on the cage. You can do it. Just concentrate and you can override the control. Think hard. Cover the cage. No, Tegan, don't. Look, please listen to me. It's the doctor. Don't open it. If you do, it's the end for us all. Professor Song, the doctor is waiting for you on the balcony. Oh. Excellent. This way, Mom. Do we have a good table? The finest in all the galaxy, Mom. Ah. Um, one moment. <laughs> Ramon. Professor Song. The doctor will be with you in a moment. What are you doing here? They pulled us from the wreckage, Mom. Fixed us up. I've been working here ever since. Don't worry. The nasty part's all gone. Got deleted in a merger. What about Nardo? Oh, Merry Christmas, Mom. Good to see you again. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Nardo! Uh, sorry I'm off duty. I'm just having some me time. I imagine that must be quite a challenge. Yes, Mom. <laughs> so, Ramon, you have a metal body now. Don't go. Now that, my dear, is a suit. Happy Christmas. Really? I don't think you've ever given me a present before. It's a sonic screwdriver. Oh, lovely. When I saw the sonic chart, I thought it was just embarrassing. But... <laughs> oh, thank you. You look, uh, amazing. Doctor, you have no idea whether I look amazing or not. Well, you've, you've moved your hair about, haven't you? Well done. It's very sweet of you to try. <laughs> so what do you think? The singing towers. When you run with the Doctor, it feels like it will never end. But however hard you try, you can't run forever. Everybody knows that everybody dies, and nobody knows it like the Doctor. But I do think that all the skies of all the worlds might just turn dark if he ever, for one moment, accepts it. Why? Why would I give him my screwdriver? Why would I do that? The thing is, future me, she has to think about it. Although she has to think of a way to save her. And what he did was give her a screwdriver. Why would I do that? Oh, oh, oh. 
Look at that. I'm very good. What have you done? Saved us. Stay with me. You can do it. Stay with me. Come on. You and me. One more. Platform disabled. Everybody knows that everybody dies. But not every day. Not today. It's okay. You're safe. You'll always be safe here. The doctor fixed the data core. This is a good place now. But I was worried you might be lonely, so I brought you some friends. Aren't I, clever girl? Aren't we all? For heaven's sake. He just can't do it, can he? That man. That impossible man. He just can't give in. Oh. <laughs> Some days are special. Some days are so, so blessed. Some days, nobody dies at all. Once in a very long while, every day in a million days when the wind stands fair and the doctor comes to call. Everybody lives. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.